come and join us on our board of things we've got to do. Gosh, there's all sorts of stuff going on on here. It all means something to us, doesn't it, Tyler? Lots of stuff. Right then. So what are we going to go through? We've got all this stuff to go through. If you can read any of my writing, good luck. Oh, I often can't. So, <laughs> right then. 3D printer. We've got a new 3D printer. We'll pop and have a look at that at the end of the at the end of the video. Go and have a look. And we've we've relayed out all the lab, haven't we, Tyler? And we've got it all nice and carpeted and done that, which distracted us for a day yesterday. Defender table. Let's go and have a look at the defender table. We have. So we did the bracket kit and people said, Simon, we don't want to buy one of those Amazon tables that's the Jeep thing. Can you not design one better? So I think we have designed one better. Look, here it is. This is our table. And we'll do it. We've got a whole video we'll upload probably in the next couple of days anyway almost. But it zips out, you know. And you can put those tricky bonnet catches on it. And it goes down and we've got these stays. And Tyler, someone's nicked your knives and forks, Tyler. Well, you, was, <laughs> you needed it for your lunch. So, and we, you could put some um, shadow foam in there, but we're quite pleased with the table. It works really nicely. It's got a molly plate design. It's got some hooks built in. Don't do it that way. There we go, do it that way. And that all goes in and says that. So there we go. There's the table. Look out for the video on that. There's something good under here. Oh yeah, you just remembered that. You like this one, do you Tyler? Yeah. New carbon fibre spare wheel cover. That's, it's not our normal thing, is it, Tyler? This is a bit blingy for us. We're normally dirty um, stuff. Right. Oh, just we only got to walk around our workshop. So this is an interesting conundrum. So this is the Thule roof box. Now, a lot of people with the Defenders want to fit these, especially the people with the 90s, because they haven't got much space so they're trying to use, and they've got the Expedition roof rack. Now, these Thor roof racks are great if you've got two bars, because what you've got underneath them is you've got these recesses where these little clamps sit. Now, the trouble is, we, on the Expedition roof rack, we've got bars all the way along, and these clips can't reach the bar because it's been held off, where normally you would just rest it on here, so they would be in intimate contact. So we're working on a way to solve that problem. And our solution is to actually jack up, there we go, we got to, to, take, to take one bar and jack it, to take two bars, sorry, and jack it up slightly. So we are working on that so that you'll have two bars that sit higher and then the roof box will rest continually on all the bars, go up, down, 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 go up, and it can do its clamping thing. Right, come this way, Tyler. So we talked about the Defender table. We've done some work, I'll put the picture up. We are trying to get a Discovery 4 molly plate so it can sit on the sides like we've got on the Defender there. And we are trying to make it take the Defender side box so that you can have that Defender look and you can have your own mini bar and all that stuff. So I'll put the picture of the cardboard prototype so again, that's a, a couple of few weeks off yet. That will be UK made, but we haven't got a bolt rail like we have on the Defender. They've kindly provided us with a, 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 a rail with some fixed mounting points on the new Defender, which is really cool. Thank you, Land Rover. Um, but on the Discovery 4, we haven't got that. So we're looking at how we fit into the body side. Um, you, you'll see we've got some bits of wood on the picture, but that's just our prototype. We're working on that. Disco 4 roof clamps. So we have a series of, to, to get the molly plate to stay in place, we need to have a little ledge at the top that goes in and that rests on the roof rails at the top. And we're looking at a bolting system that's 3D printed to form a carriage, to form a bolt that the molly plate can go on. But then you can also use that same system for tie downs, lashing points and other stuff. So. And we've also done the roof clamps. Let's go over and look at the roof clamps. Don't trip over the wire. No, 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 no. Roof clamps. So we do these roof clamps for the Defender, um, for the Expedition roof rack there, so that you can clamp together and there's two stainless steel plates and that allows you to fit. We use those to fit our Ghostbusters beacons and it worked really well, didn't it? And we, and we also use them for the roof tent mounting. 
you can use them for awning mount it gives you some really secure roof mount points oh someone's asked today for a plate uh, we normally do a stainless steel plate but they've got a magnetic aerial so we've listened to you and we've just designed it this afternoon and we're going to do a steel powder coated plate big enough to take the aerial so we're on that as well so we've done these blocks now and we should have them very soon for the freelander 2 crossbars the disco 3 and 4 crossbars the defender crossbars the defender expedition roof rack so we're trying to make a whole series of these clamps and then we're trying to make a series of accessories that go with them so we've already talked about antenna mounts bases roof tent mounts whatever you want to mount on it and this is our latest accessory we're going to design them all with the same um, mounting pitch and this is going to go on top now this could just be a clamp for maybe you want a lashing point or like a bookend if you've got planks of wood and you want to put them you could you could have two of these clamps one each side and it will give you a because on this roof rack a lot of people have said on the expedition roof rack this edge isn't very big it's almost flush Tyler can get up there it's almost flush whereas the old disco three oh gosh we've still got the disco we've got to fix that haven't we Tyler that's got a big rim around it you can see it's got a whole frame it's got it's got a whole frame here to stop all your stuff sliding off so it had the base and a frame so where we haven't got the frame we were going to use these and that could be a useful end stop but they had a second purpose that they came up with and i think we did feature these a few weeks back so these are now in stock we've just got to photograph them but you could use them to mount roof bars roof bars roof lights like so because you've got this central mounting bolt so you can mount that to your crossbar and then mount a roof bar and obviously you can move them along right oh come and have a look at my nuts tyler we we just got a delivery of dome stainless steel nylock nuts for the fixings of the picnic table and the first one i tried i just wound it in and it which one is it right that's <laughs> my nuts i thought i'd lost them this one here it just fell apart on me look and i thought that's a bit weird that's the first one I took out of the bag of 100. Here we go. Look, Jake packed these. Right. Zach, sorry. I can't even read. Zach, Zach printed. He printed, or the label. He, print, he printed the label. Can't blame him. Right, but if you look, it's quite interesting. So this is a good one, and you can see the little, I don't know how close that camera will go, but it goes up. I can put a picture up, actually. And it goes up, and it, it's crimped to crimp the dome. But this one clearly skipped the... Um, the printing process, the side walls here are parallel. It doesn't crimp over, and hence, there we go, that's the first one I tried out of the packet. The others seem okay. Right, we've done that. Oh, what's this here for? The OG Defender, our original Defender. We're going to dig him out next week, hopefully. And we are going to put the new door cards on. They've been a while coming, but we've got the new door cards we started three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of our longer products, but there's a whole history of horrors there. Um, but it's now here, and we are going to launch that, and we'll do a video on that. Is there anything else interesting on the desk, Tyler? Those are the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So these are the new carriages that are going to go in the Discovery 4 rails that run side to side, and they're going to take a coach bolt, and they're going to clamp, and that is going to form a bolt, and that will form the top of our Molly plate mount. That's not interesting. There was something else that was interesting. Oh, yeah, we, we've done this. So this is the old generic Jeep tray that we disposed of. But one thing we liked on the, that we'd done camping was we had these, these ball mounts at the top that I hang my, my cooking utensils on when I was using it. So we decided to 3D print some, and this is what we've come up with. So it's just gonna be a little collar there that we can screw on there, and that'll form a little utensils tea towel hook right but we're getting on with that right back over here so we're also looking at a quick fit freelander 2 roof rack the freelander 2 roof rack is just a pig to fit it's horrible so we're looking at a, a low capacity option for that more to come on that defender magnetic base we've talked about we've got the mats in so land rover do not do floor mats for the 
rear seats of the seven seat defender so we've now done a floor rubber floor mat kit that will do the front the middle and the back row we'll launch those next week d5 bonnet we're going to have a look at that og defender door cards and the dodgy nuts so i think we're, we're good so let's have a look at the d5 bonnet so we are working on we've had a couple of requests for a vinyl anti-reflective bonnet decal to go on the discovery 5 we can't afford a discovery 5 but we can we can afford a crash damage bonnet which is all we need so you can see here we're we've just been zach has been working it out we've got it on the cad now so we are gonna put it out and we're gonna put d5 in there or just have a blank or even a little schematic right you join us in our refurbished set we've all carpeted it all it's all looking nice so this is the little 3d printing what are we printing today tyler so it looks like we're waiting for the air handling unit to come for this one but it gives us a better view in so that is looks like it's doing the final layer on one of our oh the other thing we got let's go and see if it's in the evoke the evoke charging tray oh we've got so much going on my head is going to explode this one's printing the roof clamps we were just looking at this one's printing roof clamps and oh and that's a plate zach's working on to cover the step the rear step he's working on a plastic cover rather than the um grip tape and that one's printing this is where we've got all various samples of bits we're working on in here these are the pots we where we print the spacers for the picnic trays so we just top these up and we've got loads of products we do right we just we were just looking around in there and th this is our sort of prototype mock-up of our freelander 2 roof rack i won't go into too much detail but we're just about to cut that there and that's gonna be part of it so we'll do that what else evoke let's go and have a look is the evoke out here this is the lab this is where gary does all his vinyl printing and we do all the vinyl graphics and we do some development we've got the laser cutter there get a little glimpse of the og defender Oh, actually, the evokes this way, isn't it? I can't remember where they all are, Tyler. Right. Has Zach left it in here? No, it's gone. Let me go and grab it. Right, let's have a look. What is this? So this is our wireless charging mat for the evoke. So Zach's done this. Zach's working over there. You can't see him. He's hiding behind the cardboard. Yeah. Um, so... This, the charging mat goes in here, like this. And this is genius. The back's done a lot of work on this. Um, you've got this pen holder thing here at the back. I've never quite worked out what it is. Do we need a bit more light? Oh, no, we got this, it's Justin. It's pretty good, isn't it? Um, and what we've made is we've made these little round bits on the back of this. And what it does is you plug the US, you plug the charger into the USB ports in there. And what it does is it, it sits in that pen holder and it sort of acts as a hinge. And so that if you want to, you can put that up, put your, have you seen this? No. no. And then you put that down. And because we've lost the pen holder, we gave you a pen holder back. You see, we put one at the front there. Um, but that is the wireless charger, all self-contained, and it forms a little lid. Um, it's shipping genius, I've got to be honest. There you go. And put your phone in there, and it will wirelessly charge. So we're just tweaking a few bits of design. You couldn't quite get your finger in to get the pen out. So we're just making that a little bit wider. Um, but we've, we've made it, we've incorporated some little foam. You see the little bits at that? That's what helps keep it up when you put it up there. They just interfere with the sides and that. So we've been doing that this week. So there we go. So we'll have those ready on the 3D printer. Should be within a week. I mean, we haven't got to wait for any tooling. We haven't, the advantage of 3D printing is we can tweak the design. We don't have to pay for tooling. We don't have to wait for tooling. The only thing is we're limited by production capacity. But we're going to talk to 3D Tim, and 3D Tim's got some more, some more 3D printing capacity coming on. So he's going to come and see me. Oh, it's been a busy week, hasn't it, Tyler? Yeah. So that's what we've been up to. I hope you're having a good week. Um, I'm going to get a little shout out. I don't normally do this, but Nick's not feeling too well at the moment. We like Nick, don't we? Non-stick yeah. Nick. Get well, non-stick Nick. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Right, I'll catch you all next week.